Hey you guys, this is Sasha and welcome back to my channel. So today we are talking about, as you see from the title, getting pregnant at a pretty fast rate. So if you're interested, stay tuned. <laughs> So I have had three pregnancies and in those three uh, pregnancies, literally, um, I got pregnant with all my kids in less than six months. And I'm currently on a TTC journey, but as I kind of reflect back on my previous journeys, I want to just share a little bit of tips that can help when you're waiting, when you desire to get pregnant, or maybe you haven't had a kid yet, or even, you know, you're trying for another kid, some things that are always helpful to remember. So the first thing that I remember that always helped was tracking my ovulation. Now this video is not sponsored, but I've used two things. One, I've used my OVO app, which I will link the icon above. I love that app. I use that with every single one of my pregnancies. I think it's a great app just to track um, your cycles and things like that. My mama always told me to make sure you know when Aunt Flo is coming so it's never as a prize and you're prepared. It also helps when you wanna make sure that um, you know, your cycle and everything is good to check for abnormalities, things like that. And that way you can have that additional discussion with your health provider. There are sometimes medications and things that are going undiagnosed because we are not tracking our cycles. So make sure that you are tracking. If you know you have a 25 or me, I'm a 26. I used to be a 28, but now I've gone down to a 26 and I'm able to track things very efficiently. One thing that I incorporated um, as I had more children was tracking my ovulation. So with Josiah, I decided to start tracking my ovulation and I did similar with Caleb. And again, as I try for baby number four and the ovulation that I'm using right now is the easy at home. I will link a link for Amazon down in the description. I buy them on there. I normally do a 25 pack, but you can also get a 50 pack or more depending on your preference and how often you want to test. But it's good kind of, I would say for me, I start testing my ovulation a couple days um, after my period is ended just because I'm kind of used to it. But again, knowing when you ovulate, knowing how long your period is, tracking, knowing how many cycle days all increase your chances of getting pregnant a lot quicker. The next tip I would get is making sure that you are taking prenatal. Already take things as if your body is pregnant. And so I know when I had my first child, I was taking prenatals, honestly, for my hair growth. I wanted my hair to grow, so I was taking Biotin. I decided to take the prenatals. And with my first baby, I got pregnant in less than two months. Yes, you guys, less than two months, just from tracking my ovulation, just to make sure everything was okay. We weren't really trying, we were just newlyweds. I wanted to track my ovulation. I wanted to make sure that everything was okay, especially because I have my annual pap smear. And those are questions that your doctor will ask. And then boom, we were pregnant. Another thing that is really helpful that you can do is make sure that you are aware of how your girl is acting down there. So checking that cervical mucus, checking the smell, the odor. If she is healthy on the inside out, right? If the inside's not right, you can kind of tell from the smell, um, the smell of your monthly. I know some people are like, that's really TMI, but it is a part of you like anything else. If you have bad breath, you will brush your teeth. So making sure that you have good vaginal health, I think all those things do play a part in getting pregnant a lot quicker, knowing your vaginal pH, um, to make sure maybe it's not too acidic or things like that, are all things that the more you get in touch with your body, I'm telling you, it is very, 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 very helpful in the long run. So a really important tip, and I definitely apply it now, is not telling my husband when I ovulate. So for me, I see so much more stress when they know it's like go time. It's so much pressure for everybody to perform at the perfect timing so that the baby can get created. And ultimately, it's up to the good Lord above. So I found that as we had more children, I just stopped telling him. And when I did not tell him that I was ovulating, and in reality, I would try not to tell myself that I was ovulating and it just becomes more relaxing and enjoyable, then it was a lot quicker. So with Josiah, I had my stillbirth 
and that was in October and I conceived Josiah. Now granted, remember the rest of October and November, they tell you not to try to conceive because you just had a full term pregnancy. So I did not start actively trying until December and found out I was pregnant with Josiah in April. And again, I cleaned up my diet, I tracked my ovulation, but I didn't make it such a big fixated deal to my husband when I was ovulating. If he asked me, I'd be like, yeah, I think so. Um, but it made life a lot easier. And just like that, Josiah was born. With Caleb, I was breastfeeding. So that's another one that we don't really talk about. If you've had a question, like if you've been pregnant before or you've miscarried and things like that, your body is still going through all the things as if you have had a baby, right? Um, sometimes you go through postpartum and things like that. So knowing when is a good time to retry um, and your body is less stressed after the experience, even if you want to have babies back to back, it's so important. I can't stress enough being in tune with your body. And that kind of brings it into going on with us trying right now. And it has been over a year. I think along the way, between my IUD being removed, I had a Mirena IUD removed in July of 2020, and then just the amount of pressure that I was putting on myself, it has not been beneficial. And so I'm kind of like taking a step back to go forward and remembering some of the same things I'm telling you, I'm definitely telling myself that I have to get more in tune with just my body and not stressing her out. Cause your girl has been ridiculously stressed. And I think that plays a huge, huge, huge part on whether you're gonna conceive quicker or not, because you can do all the perfect timing in the world, but if you are super stressed internally, it just is not gonna be a happy, nor really a healthy environment for a baby to be conceived. And I know we want those bundles of joy. We pray for them, we love them, but we love them enough that we want them in the best environment possible. So I do realize monitoring my stress, um, loving on myself, pampering myself more, as well as my husband, has been really, really helpful right now in the season that we're in. My last tip overall would be one that everybody hears, right? And that's to be patient. Know that the blessing is coming. There's so many times, especially now, where this is taking longer and I'm like, why isn't the things that I've done before working this time? Well, anything worth having, you want it to be special, right? If it's a custom cake or you're building a house, it can't be rushed because it is a custom build. And these babies are custom. They are custom blessings, prayers, all those things that we are manifesting for their future, all wrapped into one. So I will say, even though tracking ovulation, knowing your body, definitely having discussions with your OBG and things like that and getting healthy are all things that will increase your chances of fertility. Patience supersedes them all because when you see those lines, honestly, you will not care how long it took. You will just care about the life that is being formed and all the great things that you are excited and prepared for um, on what it's gonna add to your family. Just so many great things. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It wasn't like a finite, like step one, two, three, but I did wanna give them an experience, you know, getting pregnant you know, two months, um, with my first and my third, and then getting pregnant in less than six months with my second son, Josiah. Sorry, my first son, second child, Josiah. Um, and those are just things that I kinda remember. Just relax, remember it is gonna happen. These babies are on the way. Uh, let me know some things that you have done that have helped you um, relax so that you can get your BFP. Congratulations to you guys who got your BFPs or who are trying in this journey. Lots of love and baby dust to you. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.